Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with TypeScript and NodeFetch. Our viewer has run into a problem while trying to set up a PUT request, and they're asking how to make their request body compatible with request in it or body in it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. To make the body object compatible with request in it, we need to convert our My Class instance into a format that is acceptable. The body property in request in it can be a string, a buffer, or a readable string. In this case, we can convert our my class instance to a JSON string. This can be done using the json.stringify method. Let's update our params object accordingly. Now, let's ensure that the headers indicate the content type. We should set the content type header to application JSON to inform the server that we are sending JSON data. Finally, with these changes, your fetch request should work without any type errors. The body is now a string, which is compatible with the request init type. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To ensure your request body is compatible with request in it or body in it when using Node Fetch, remember to import request in it from Node Fetch instead of the built-in TypeScript version. Avoid using the built-in TypeScript request in it. This can lead to compatibility issues. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.